everyone. So this is a different look for me. As you can see, I am not shaved. I'm over bronze, over contoured, but it's all for fun, right? I've taken this look from the Buckler's Spring Summer Collection 2010 and to learn how to do it, keep on watching. So for this look, it's all about looking bronzed and having a nice glow. So I went ahead and used my HD foundation from Makeup Forever. And I use this foundation because it has a dewy finish. It will give you a very nice glow. Then I'm going to use this product from MAC called the Sculpt and Shape Powder. This color is Bone Beige and Emphasize. So Bone Beige would be the lightest color and Emphasize will be the darkest. Now I'm just gonna use this product and I'm going to contour a little bit my eyes and my nose. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush. I'm taking the brown shade and I'm just going underneath my brow and following the bridge of my nose on this side. Now when you contour, you could always use a bronzer but make sure you contour with a bronzer that's matte because if it has some shimmer or sparkles it will reflect the light and it will kind of contradict the purpose of contour. Now I'm taking the brown and I'm just putting it underneath the lip and this will just make it seem like I have bigger lips. Now I'm going to take my 168 I'm still taking that brown color. I'm just going to contour my jaw. Now I'm still using that brown and I'm going to contour my cheekbone but I'm gonna make it very very um, I would say square. So I'm starting at the same place I would usually start so at the top of my ear bringing it down but I'm also over here bringing bringing it down over here. This is going to kind of make my jaw look a little bit more square, especially because I don't have that much of a jaw. Now I'm just going to contour the rest of my face. I'm still using that brown. And I'm going around the perimeter of my hair. Now this step is not necessary but you know I'm all about the contour. Now we're gonna move ahead and use the bronzers. I'm going to use two bronzers just because the look is very kind of, I'm stuck in a desert, kind of dirty, bronzy. But if you are planning on wearing bronzers every day, you need to keep in mind your undertone color of your skin tone. Now if you are a pink undertone, you wanna use a bronzer like this one. This one is called Solar Reach from MAC and it has a peachy, um, undertone you want to use something that has a little bit of pink in it and if you are more of an olive undertone or a darker complexion you want to use something that is a little bit more on the golden side this one is called refined golden and it's still from Mac so I'm going to use both just like I said just because this look as you can see from the photos in the underbar it almost looks dirty, like if you were stuck on an island or in a desert or something like that. So I'm going to start off with my Solar Reach and I want to apply that right on the cheekbone and I'm just contouring my eye in a padding motion. So I'm going on the temples and bringing it on the forehead. Now I'm going to go over with the same brush, but I'm just going to use the Refined Golden, which is kind of the more brownish golden color. And I'm just going over. Now like I said, I'm kind of recreating the looks from the runway, so it's going to look messy. It's going to look dirty, but that's what was happening at the show. And I'm keeping the T-Zone kind of free of any bronzers. Now I'm just gonna go lightly over my forehead because I don't want to look like a deer in the headlights. You kind of want to make every color blend together. Now that I look like I've been stranded on an island for a month or so, I'm going to use some highlight. I'm going to use the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm just placing that around the eye area, especially on the cheekbone. 
This is going to give the skin a very nice sheen. Also, if you have a dry to normal skin, you could use the cream color bases from MAC. This one is called Hush, which has a nice kind of peach undertone. And this one is called Antique Gold, which is very, very nice on darker skin tone. I'm going to use a little bit of that on top of the mineralized skin is I just applied. At the same place, I'm just tapping around the eye. Now I'm gonna go back with the first product I've used. I'm going to use the lighter color. And I always like highlighting my nose, so I'm just going in. I'm taking that product and just running it down the bridge of the nose. And I'm blending it upwards. And I'm also going to put it in the tear duct area, just to kind of open up the eye without being too obvious that you're wearing makeup. Highlight a little bit under the brow. Now we're almost done with this easy simple look. I'm going to use a brown mascara just to kind of define my lashes a little bit because they're blonde. I'm just applying a very very thin coat. I don't want to make it seem like I'm wearing mascara. I just want my lashes to be more defined. And now to finish off, I'm just going to use that lighter color over here with my finger. I'm just going to gently put it on my lips. And after I'm going to use my MAC lip conditioner. And this completes today's video. A very, very over bronze and over contoured look. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did and I'll see you next time.